Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have 1 plus 1 over x to the power x plus 1 equals 1 plus 1 over 25 to the power 25. Now, this equation could have been differ uh, written differently, but the reason why it's written this way is actually on purpose to mislead you in the wrong direction, obviously, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at y and then see how we can fix it. And we'll talk about the solution method. Great. So notice that on the left-hand side, we have 1 plus 1 over x inside the parentheses, right? And on the right-hand side, we have 1 plus 1 over 25. So they kind of seem to match, don't they? As long as x is equal to 25, we're good. Because if 1 plus 1 over x equal, equals 1 plus 1 over 25, this automatically means x equals 25, right? Yes, but the rest of the story is a little different. Because if you look at the exponent, it's 25, but here it's not x. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. Cyber math has a solution. Okay, great. So let's see how we can fix this issue. Now, this probably reminds you a very well-known limit as well. Think about it as x approaches infinity or, you know, otherwise, uh, we get some interesting results from here. Obviously, when x approaches infinity, we get something like 1 to the power infinity is not always 1. I got to tell you, be careful about those indeterminate forms. Okay, anyways, so let's go ahead and see how we can fix this problem. Notice, obviously, that x equals 25 does not work. So we kind of have to do something different. But that should give you an idea about what's going on. So, like I said earlier, there's a good reason why the equation was written in a misleading way, right? They don't want you to find the solution right away, obviously. I mean, even, even if it was written that way, it wouldn't be so obvious, but still, it will be, uh, you know, closer. So now, let's go ahead and make a common denominator. And then do the same thing on the right-hand side. And again, if you make that comparison, it's not going to work because if x is 25, x plus 1 needs to be 25, but that's not the case. Okay, fine. But with a little twist, we can fix this issue. You know how? By changing things around a little bit. For example, obviously, in order for x plus 1 to be 25, x needs to be 24, but we don't even have 24 in this equation. Have you noticed that? Look at this equation, we do not have 24 anywhere. But what do we have? We have 26. And that is the most critical part. Why is it important to have 26 in this equation? Because we're going to look at it from another perspective, kind of like flip the number line. You know what I'm talking about? Let me explain. So we're going to start with 26 over 25 to the power of 25. And then we're going to go ahead and flip this. And the reason behind that is I want to change the exponent. I want to make it negative. I mean, why on earth would you want to do that, right? It's more trouble. Well, that's the way it works. You'll see how I fix it that way, okay? So, do, okay, that's my cat. He's been gone for two days, Now I came back this morning. I'm very happy. Anyways, <laughs> it just needs attention, obviously. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip this, 25 over 26. And then, of course, that changes the exponent and makes it negative 25. Now, you might still be questioning, like, hey, what is so significant about it? Because even if yeah, I set it equal to this, let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't seem to be working. Is it working? Let's take a look. Now, are you saying that, okay, if x plus 1 is negative 25, we're going to get a solution? Is that the case? Now, let's take a look. How can x plus 1 be negative 25? Well, if x is negative 26, then x will be negative 25, right? Cool. But inside, it doesn't work like that. Well, it doesn't, but we, we can make it work. How? Again, going back to 1 plus 1 over x, kind of separate those two things, and then setting, setting it equal to this. Now, I noticed that since 25 over 26 is, oops, it's 20, because 25 over 26 is less than 1, I can't really write it as 1 plus 1 over something, unless x is different. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yes, I can't write it at 1 plus 1 over x, but I can write it as 1 minus 1 over 26. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, we're getting there little by little. Bear with me. So now, we're going to keep the left-hand side, 
And the right hand side, let me explain what, what I did one more time. I flipped it so that I could get a negative exponent. And then I got a fraction that is less than one, like 25 over 26. And then I wrote it as one minus one over 26. Because it's less than one, I can do that. And now these are supposed to be equal. Now, can you safely say that if x equals negative 26, then x plus 1 is going to be negative 25, and everything will work out? Yes and no. So we've got to uh, tweak it a little bit, just a tiny bit of uh, touch up. So we can go ahead and now write it as 1 plus 1 over negative 26, because it's the same thing, right? To the power of negative 25. Notice that in this case, x is negative 26, and we have a plus sign, because otherwise, if they're different, you can't really say that, right? So now they are the same, and guess what? If x equals negative 26, then this works, which means we have a solution, which means x equals negative 26 is a solution, right? Okay, yeah, and you can definitely check that too with the original problem. One plus one over x to the power x plus one, and now, if x is negative 26, you're going to get 1 minus 1 over 26 to the power of negative 25. This will be 25 over 26 to the power of negative 25. And then you can now write it as 26 over 25 to the power positive 25 because you can flip that to make the exponent positive. And this is, uh, this is an extra piece, so you can write it as 1 plus 1 over 25 to the power of 25. And guess what? That's what we were given on the right-hand side, which means... Negative 26 is a solution. Now, here's a million dollar question for you. See if you can answer that. Is there another solution? And if there's another solution, how can we find it? That's a good question, right? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at if we can generalize this problem. Let me go ahead and give you this. And maybe you can also think about how would you go about solving this problem, right? Because that's where it comes from. And I like generalizing problems because they give you more problems to solve, right? Obviously. Now, we had 1 plus 1 over 25, so how, how about we replace that with a and then make the exponent a plus 1, right? Was it the case? No, actually, they are supposed to be the same. Never mind. I mean, obviously, x equals a is a solution in this case. I kind of oversimplified it, but I want this to be a as well. Now, try the following. Take this equation and if, see if you can solve it with the same method that we just talked about. I think this will be a really good exercise for you. This is definitely going to help you improve if you'd like to improve in math. And always, always, always ask questions anytime you wish. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.